so um, I, I, when I was approaching the, 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 f the film, we knew we weren't going to be able to shoot chronologically, so we we're going to have to jump into different stages in Stephen's life and um, within the same day. And so I, I didn't want, for Stephen, the, the illness was of very little interest to him after he was diagnosed. He's someone that lives forward and lives passionately. And the, the, so similarly, I didn't want the film to be about a physicality. So I wanted to have the physicality so embedded in me that we could play the human story, the, the love story. And so I, I went to ALS clinics in London for about four months with a choreographer, a woman called Alex Reynolds. And then she helped to sort of train my muscles to, to sustain those positions for, for long periods of time. I think I, I will certainly go to um, Cambridge at some point to see Stephen, Jane, Jonathan, and the Hawking children. They have been so kind to us the whole way through this process. And it's, I'm one of those people, when I watch a film, I believe what I see on screen. And, and so our responsibility to tell their story truthfully and authentically was, we felt it. And so their support throughout has been amazing. Um, any excuse to go back to go back to Cambridge. It's such a beautiful place. So yeah, I, I will definitely go and show it to them. God, even hearing you say the word, it sounds so weird. <gasps> um, how did I feel? How did I feel? I don't, I mean, the fact that it was Kate Blanchett giving it. I mean, I, I did a film called The Golden Age, Elizabeth, The Golden Age um, with Kate. And it's one of the first films I did. And I just think she's such an exceptional actor. And um, so I was recovering from that excitement of seeing her and then then just trying to bury all this frenzy of nerves and white noise and try and speak articulately. And of course, you then forget everything, but it just felt like a, a euphoria, really, an extraordinary euphoria. One, it's something I will not forget in a hurry. Do you know, I wish I, wish I could say that there was a plan. That the, the interesting thing is The Danish Girl, the film I'm shooting at the moment, was a film that Tom Hooper, who I was working with on Les Miserables, he gave me that script then. And so... <clears throat> If I'm being totally honest, I've never really had much choice in work-wise. I've always had a fight for, for jobs and, and fought pretty hard for them, certainly for the theory of everything. And so as far as where you go from here, I, I just retaining employment will keep me very happy. So. <laughs> Did you know what? I was weirdly not that nervous because three years ago, I came to the Oscars for the first time and I had, with Les Miserables and I had to sing live on stage. And just before going on, someone with a headset said, yeah, that's a billion people watching. And that's too much stress for your vocal cords to possibly consider. So that was such a terrifying prospect that actually today felt much more relaxing. I didn't have to, you know, you either win or you lose. Either way, I was so thrilled to be invited to the party. That, um, so, uh, it, I mean, how do, what's been lovely is actually staying in a hotel in um, just down the road and Tom Sturridge and Sienna Miller, the old friends of mine, Emma Stone, and my wife, Hannah, are there, so it's like pals are there, so it's felt very special the past half a day. 1.42 and... <laughs> For the latest from HitVix, visit HitVix.com or download the new HitVix app on your Roku device.